If you've ever wondered what a year's supply worth of food stored away in five gallon buckets look like, then look right behind me because that's exactly what this is. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how many five gallon buckets and how much white rice you would need in order to store away a year's worth of food for one person, and how you can seal it all up and make it shelf stable for up to 25 years, all for under $500. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and behind me is a year's worth of food for one person. And the fact that I was able to put all of it together for under 500 bucks is awesome. Now, if there's anything you know about this channel, you know that I love tractor supply, I love five gallon buckets, and part of my prepping strategy when it comes to long-term food storage is to actually buy the buckets before I even have the food, because I have an unhinged desire to fill empty buckets with more food, and that helps motivate me to keep expanding on my food preps. Now, that got me to thinking, how many buckets would I actually need for a year's worth of food? Well, we figured it out. Right here you see 19 five gallon buckets, which if you fill them all with 25 pounds of white rice, gets you a year's worth of food, at least calorically, for one person. Now understand, we're using white rice in order to achieve affordability as well as calorie density. The problem with that is that if you only eat white rice for an entire year, you're gonna have some malnutrition issues. So make sure you have nutritional supplements within your preps. But if you wanted to get an affordable year's worth of food put away for under 500 bucks, it's really hard to beat white rice. Now, each bucket has 25 pounds of white rice in it, which equates to 40,000 calories, which means each bucket you see behind me is worth 20 days of food for one person who's on a 2,000 calorie a day diet, which is pretty average. Now, speaking of average, if you've ever wanted to see someone who's six foot three in front of a giant wall of five gallon buckets, then hit the subscribe button below because we both finally got to do that together. All right. First and foremost, the math says in order to get to a year's worth of food regarding this whole calculation, you would need 18.25 buckets. But I don't think we're gonna do a quarter bucket. So we went ahead and upped it to 19 buckets, which should then technically last us to 380 days. Now, how much does all this cost? How do we get to under $500 by doing this? Well, first and foremost, the buckets themselves are $5.99 at Tractor Supply, and the lids are $2.79. So in order to get 19 buckets, you're gonna spend $171, okay? Now how about the rice? Well, understand that I went with Walmart's pricing on rice because not everybody has access to like an international food market and not everybody has access to a big box store like Costco, so everyone has access to Walmart. So I use their pricing to kind of make this even for everyone. And you can get a 20 pound bag of rice at Walmart for 10 bucks. Now in order to fill 19 buckets with 25 pounds of white rice, you would need 23 20 pound bags of rice. So that equates to $230, right? All right, now, in order to seal everything up and store it away for the long term, up to 25 years or even longer, you want to seal it in Mylar bags. Now, Wallaby Goods has some really good five gallon Mylar kits, which I think are, are awesome. There's actually links in the description as well as in the pinned comment for those kits. Now each kit gives you the Mylar bags, gives you the oxygen absorbers, gives you some labels, and the bags are Ziploc, which is really nice. In order to get one of those kits, it's 40 bucks, but the unfortunate part is that those kits only come with 15 bags. So you'd either need two kits, or you could supplement one kit by getting some additional bags somewhere like Amazon. But if you wanted to get all the kits or all the bags from Wallaby Goods, you would need two kits. So that's gonna be $80 because each kit is $40. Now, the other thing you might want in order to seal everything up as good as you can is a flat iron. And I'll actually have a link to a video up here, or maybe it's up here, one of these up here's where I show you how to seal rice in Mylar bags using a flat iron, in case that's something you've never done before. So that should give you some information on that. But if you want a flat iron, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon, okay? So. Buckets and lids, $171. The rice you need, $230. The Mylar kits from Wallaby Goods, if you need two of them, it's $80. And the flat iron's gonna run you 10 bucks. And all of that added together is $491. So really not too bad. Now I understand that $491 can be difficult to come by for some people depending on their situation, which is completely understandable. But just keep in mind, if you were to budget maybe every paycheck or even just $41 a month, you would literally have enough money at the end of the year to put away a year's worth of food, which in all honesty is invaluable. I mean, having this much food on hand can be a game changer during any kind of SHTF scenario. And that's exactly why we prepare food in the sense that we 
feel we might need it during an emergency, right? So I wanted to bring this to your attention, give you the math and give you some ideas about how you can approach these situations. And like I said, my strategy is to buy the buckets first because if they're empty, I want to fill them. It kind of works the same way as for magazines. So let's just not talk about that right now, but all I'm trying to say is that it's a good way to motivate yourself and you know how much the cost is going to be at this point in time. So would it be better to have the food first if you don't have any food on hand? I would say yes, but if you already have food stored and you're looking to expand, buying buckets is a good way to keep pushing yourself to do more. So if you have anything else for me, leave it in the comments below, or if you have any other suggestions for other preppers out there about how they can achieve a year's worth of food, let everybody know because we're all a community here and we're trying our best to help each other out. And if there's anything else you need from me, just ask me in the comments. And besides that, that's gonna be it for Magic Prepper.